We are on. Oh, I'll get oh. it up on here. Uh... cotton week this week? Yes. Weather's not as bad as last week. It's dull but dry. No uh, torrential hailstorms. Are you on the right page? Just thinking because it's not popped up on the Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> Most people coming home. There they are. It's not popped up. No. Technical issues. People yeah. are appearing, so. Hello! Oh. Just wait, just refresh your screen. It'll run smoothly one day. With oh, yeah. no hiccups. Hi, Janet. Yeah, we're on the right page. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we're just having a bit of a technical issue. Oh, just... hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. It's not popped up for me. Oh. Keep trying. Oh. We can just see the, we can see the links easier. Hang on. Hi, Alison. Hi, Eileen. I think I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. There, oh, we, there go. we go. We're up. We're running. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, Alison from sunny France. It's oh, not yeah, sunny it's here. No, it's not. <laughs> not so cold. It's so cold, cold it? but it's quite dull. Yeah, it's very dull. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. Right. I'm right. On the track now. So we're doing Polly Cotton Week this week. We haven't done one. No, so I think not we've done, done one poly. before. No. Hi, Samantha. Hello. Right. So shall we start? We've enough to start with. Yeah, absolutely. So hello, I'm Chloe. I'm Heather. We're the Material Girls. Hi, Marion. Oh, hi, Marion. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, anybody's new, say hi. Yeah. Anybody that's not new, say hi. Well, we'll say hello to everybody. Hi, Kira. <laughs> you should be working, not watching us. I think it's Kate, not Kira. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I thought it was Kira. Sorry. I need new glasses. <laughs> and I was like, is it Kira? Hi, Kate. I thought oh. Kira was watching on the laptop. She probably is. Yeah, probably. Or on a phone. So, Holly Week. Holly Week. So, right. don't forget you can find us on yes. all the socials. Find us on TikTok, Instagram. Facebook, the Knit It, Stitch It, Share It page, YouTube, am I forgetting anything Yeah, else? we have a WhatsApp group WhatsApp. you can join. There's a lovely group of people on there, yeah. you know, talk about the world and its wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not just sewing. <laughs> about everything. Hi, um, Arlene. Hello. I think that's everything, isn't it? I think that's everything. Yeah. So, right. without further ado, let's start. Let's start. Uh, so, we think we're going to start this week with the school's blouse. Is anybody, any of you out there like schools i actually really like yeah they're fabric. probably more and more popular it's lovely yeah. so this is a, a lovely poly fabric because my mum swears by uh poly cotton poly. she says yeah. it's great for all your summer wear yeah um but it's it's for light being, for being it? light and it if it's hot in summer so do you want to read the show yeah. the details of that so amanda's done this because amanda loves the schools yes she is and this is one of the uh, what's that pattern it's a bruder style pattern 6914 i think this is called schools and roses and, and she's used she's, she's used. used red binding inside the the sleeves mm. the the armhole should i say instead of doing a facing yeah um, because we've just made this for show yeah in the shop yeah i hang this in the shop just uh, but it's quite loose fabric. it's quite a loose yeah be nice quite and cool quite yeah floaty with the button yeah. fastening at the top honeycomb button honeycomb like buttons <laughs> yeah that's so, that one that's nice that. and this is what this is this is the pattern that she's used by birder it's um six nine one four which style did she use she used um c, c? style yeah. c style c very nice very trendy so there we go well done Amanda. i did have one to bring in and i brought the wrong one i brought the one i showed last week instead of bringing oh, the poly cotton no. one i had one with strawberries i'll show oh. it on a future one well, to i've forgotten to bring with that if you like the sort of, so we sell yeah. that obviously by the the half, the half, half meter, meter. and um, that'll be they're about the from 199 for half a meter i think is that right? Yeah, the one ninety nine, two pound yeah. ten, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite a, an economical way to make your clothes as well. Oh, definitely. If you're using yeah. poly cotton, yeah. Definitely. So we have the bundle. I created this. Um, it's the schools and roses five piece fat quarter bundle at six ninety nine. So if you fancy and doing a bit of a patchwork a patch. or anything, I guess really. Good value, well, bargain, isn't it? Six ninety nine. Yeah things like that oh, really nice yeah. Color, yeah so especially that. for teenagers yeah. and any anybody um well anybody likes school yeah. these days don't they it's the very in very very in 
So that's the bundle. Like that. Right, so if you whip the cord hanger out of that and then I'll put it on this. Yeah. Take the cord hanger off that. Did you undo the button? No, I slid it through the arm. Oh. Make it easy. So this is one I made uh, quite a while ago. I wanted to do a test pattern, a test, rather than doing yeah. it in a tool or yeah. um, a bed sheet or anything. I thought I'll do it in something that my <laughs> grandsons would like. <laughs> so I made, this is called, uh, yeah. do you want to read that? Yeah. It's the top one. Top one. So uh, this. Trudit Tunic by Style Arc. So, and I'm glad I made it in it's something. so cool, that. Something that was, was cheaper to make it in yeah. because um, it came out really yeah i'm way too big yeah way too it big could be nice loose i'm going to try and alter it to get the, to get the pattern right it yeah. was too big across the shoulders yeah oh it stood up a bit yeah. way too loose i mean i'm i'm quite a novice uh, uh garment maker yeah. and it's i don't like can somebody tell me because nobody seems to know these it the way it described it in the instructions was not was not like a dart right it said like a tuck but is there any dressmakers out there that can tell me does that look right because i don't think it looks right i've done something wrong there was a piece that stuck out in the pattern oh. and then the way it's, it described it to, to fold up yeah that's how i read it oh. but i'm not sure if that was right you got to bring it in because it wasn't yeah. a dart at the bust or anything it was to bring the side in a bit yeah and I really don't like that, and I'm not sure I've done it right. It looks, so, looks all right. So if somebody out there, well, I don't like it. So if somebody could tell me, because it looks, well, you know, it looks it. like it's it's got a tuck folded. I just and it just doesn't to me doesn't look doesn't right. Sit right. So if anybody knows and could tell me, yeah, let um, us know. Help even me even my mum couldn't tell me, and yeah. she's been dressmaking for years. Oh. So if there's anybody else that could, it had. This is when I was learning how to do shirts and yeah. collars. Yeah. Um, so it had it has a pleat in the back as well, and a back yoke. Nice. But I loved it in the dinosaurs. It's so cool that dinosaur. Yeah. So I do want to alter it because I want to, I want to wear it because um, I quite like it. It's long. It's nice to wear with leggings. Oh, definitely. And that is. Oh, this was the Trudy tunic by Style Arc. My mum likes these patterns. This is yeah. an independent. Oh, really? I think a bit of an independent, independent pattern. Independent patterns are easy to follow, aren't they? Yeah, it was this bit here. Where is it? Here. That stuck out at the side. And the way it's described to fold it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, confused me, to say the least. Confused you. Because you don't get a lot of instruction. It no, obviously, how do you get? That little bit in the middle. Oh. It obviously assumes a lot of, of, of knowledge. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it on Do you the know floor. what that's called? Dino. That one. That's right, so called? it's called. We have a piece of paper somewhere, or at least well, it was a piece I've of paper. I've got that, but I'm not sure if it's on there. But we've got an ivory version as well. Olivia is doing the comments today, so you know, give her hearts and thumbs up and loves, and um, I'm sure she'll put a, a comment in. It was uh, on there. Dino, was it dynamite? I think something like that and, and there's a white version that's the white version my youngest grandson's dinosaur mad so this is uh and that's the blue version this would be perfect to, yeah, wear, when I'm with, fabric. to wear when i'm with him it's so fun the only thing i found with white polycon is you need to i, I feel the need to wear yeah. something like a vest top or something Under, underneath yeah. it because it's a little bit more Secret, transparent yeah. than your 100 percent cotton yeah hello jennifer hello Let's see. Um, oh, Lynn's put looks lovely, Heather. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> right, so that's that's Lynn that one. Loves the dino print. Right. It is cool, that dino print. So I'll get rid of that. So I've done that one. We've yep. done that one. So where should we go You're next? Shall I show one. these? Yeah, sure then. Right, these were just a little bit of something. I was making as samples to put up in the poly room here. These are very cute. These are the DIY mini zipper pouch by is that Ten, Tender Smile Tender Handmade. Tender Smile Handmade. Tender Smile Handmade on on YouTube. They're a little pleated pouch. They are quite quick. Yeah. Quick to make. Um, and I've put a little. They're so cute. I put a little swivel have. lock on them. Uh, I used. Somebody asked me when I put them on Instagram, where did I get my zips? Well, it's just a regular zip, just cut. Cut down. Cut down. It yeah. wasn't a really short zip. Because I find if I make, because I make a lot of bags, it's better to have. If you haven't got the zip on the roll. Buy your zippers longer. Yeah. 
and then you can cut them down to whatever yeah. size you want. But you sometimes end up with a piece like this. Right. Which I don't get rid of. Yeah. And then there are places online that you yeah. can buy just the zipper pulls. Yeah. yeah. Um, people that specialise in zips, you can buy zipper pulls. And so then you can buy nice new zipper pulls and put them on all those bits. Yeah, that's cool. That you cut off. So I keep all my small, however small, yeah. I think anything above like that size, yeah. I stick them in a pouch. Yeah, and I keep them so not. you can use those bits at the end. You yeah. just need something. Yeah. Caroline says they'd be great for yeah, dog treats. Definitely, it'd be nice to hang on the outside of your handbag. Put yeah. your dog bags in. Yeah, they're so handy. Yeah, I mean, it's put your. Idea. You could probably fit your little bottle of hand sanitizer yeah. and a face mask in I there. I think there is like a as well. Sanitizer. So that's tender smile handmade. Yeah. Now that's uh, on on their YouTube channel. If you've never seen them before, they, she, I think it's a she. Yeah. All you see is a pair of hands <laughs> and music playing and then the the project done. Yeah. And everything measurement wise appears on the screen. Yeah. Or it's written on a piece of paper. And it's really clear. Yeah. In the drop down box underneath, there is the measurements, right. all the bits that you need to cut out. Yeah. But it's worth watching the video beforehand in case there's any interfacing because yeah. she doesn't know I, I'm doesn't not sure if she's I'm not sure if she's Chinese or Japanese right. or something like that. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah. But so you've got no language barrier really. Yeah. But there's sometimes when you watch like when I started watching that, it said you needed several different size pieces. Right. And then when she was showing it on the screen, she put all the interfaces straight onto one piece of fabric. Yeah. So if you watch the video first and then you can choose which way to do it. Yeah. And she shows you how to draw out the template. Rather than having to print out a template, if you can't print out a template, she actually yeah. draws, draws it out, it out. That's on good. the screen and tells you the measurements and shows That's how really to draw good. it out. Yeah. Which was quite good because I did it that way. Yeah, I did but it. But you that can way. there is a link to it's go and download it as yeah. well. Yeah. And sometimes I can't be bothered doing that. I know, I don't I haven't got a printer on. So but they are that. a really cute, easy yeah. make. Oh, it's lovely. Um Alice, but sorry Heather, there is no way you are a novice. I haven't seen a tuck either. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks, Ali. <laughs> yes, there's definitely a tuck <laughs> in the side of a shirt, which to me looks a I bit can't odd. see it. I don't like. But I'm gonna take it in. I'm going to try pinning it and taking it in under here and maybe try and take it in along the top of the shoulders because it fits me fine here. But across the top of the shoulders, it tends to stand up a bit and it shouldn't. Yeah. Good practice with Yeah, that. it shouldn't. And it's too it's just too wide. I feel like yeah. I'm wearing a bit of a tent. <laughs> I mean, I'm no skinny mini, but, oh, but you know, over. it still feels like I'm wearing... It's too yeah. loose. It's yeah. just a bit too loose. It's just summertime. I like things Put loose. Over your vest, you know. No, it is... It is it's meant it's to be loose. On, it? it is meant to be loose, but it's a bit yeah. too loose. Yeah. Because I find... Does anybody else find that when you make the patterns mm -hmm. you you do the measurements like i say because i'm i've not been dressmaking yeah. very long at all yeah. i follow the measurements i've yeah. not got then in much knowledge to alter yes or to adjust like them yeah. i've been watching videos on how yeah, to do it, it all. but i haven't yeah. done it yet i know i may come up and then if i find it's not right i then have yeah. to do another one and adjust it other than the length yeah obviously can adjust the length yeah. But the, when it comes to the width and the shoulders yeah. and things like that, I mean, Amanda just says, oh, you just do it, you swing it. But it. Like, you know, I like it to be just so. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> right then, what we got next? Right. So, should we show that drawstring bag? Yeah. Let's show that. As you all know, I'm a bag lady. There you go. This is one I made quite some time ago. It's the only ones I've done in polycotton so far. So I think it's really nice. So, the drawstring's a bit stiff. Yeah. As yeah, yet. It doesn't matter. Because um, I used quite a sturdy uh, interfacing. Well, I think during lockdown, Jennifer Golf says she's attempting her first blouse at the oh, minute. Good luck, Jennifer. Oh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, we'll just, take your it. just take your time. Yeah, absolutely. Your time. Yeah, yeah. Just every step, take your time, you know. And you'll get there. And you'll get there in the Yeah, end. practice makes perfect. Definitely. So I just need to practice that one. <laughs> just keep Because <laughs> it was not a cheap pattern. No. When you spend like £13 on yeah. a pattern, you want to get well, it right. Get it right, yeah. So I do want to do it again. I've just not got round to it yet. So anyway, this is... A little drawstring bag done in polycotton. Oh, so cute. Because you know, I always usually do them in 100% cotton. Yeah. Um, but if you want to do it at a more budget price, yeah. uh, polycotton. Uh, so we don't have the bee, this ladybird one in stock. This is one I got right at the beginning of the first lockdown from here. Yeah, I remember that one. But we still sell all these polka dots. This is why I brought this one to show. So it's got the, the red polka dot inside and I've put a little pocket. So you've got and these. These are so easy to make. Put a little bit of stitching, love heart stitching across the top of that so one. So cute. That. Instead of a regular top stitch. And that's the pink. So 
So, and these, what, what's the price on these? And the price on the polka dots are $1.99 so, half a metre. Um, just bear in mind, that if you use a white poly cotton, it's a little bit more transparent yeah. about putting something behind, behind it. it. Because if, like me, you put a bright red yeah. in it, you might just see it through a little yeah. bit. So I've put a heavier interfacing in. Some of the cheaper interfacings you can get sometimes are a bit thicker. Vanessa said, oh, where's it gone? Um, threading that cord must have been a challenge. No, actually, threading the cords really is. I have what's called a bodkin. Oh, it's an old-fashioned yeah. thing. Like yeah. Bodkin, yeah, it's a bodkin. I gave you one, yeah. didn't I, when I came in? Um, they're brilliant. It's just like a metal. They look like a look pair like of tweezers. open tweezers, and yeah. they've got a ring on them. Yeah, and they grip. They've got claw, little claws on yeah. the end. So you, you just you just clamp it onto the end, push the ring down until yeah. it grabs it and holds it tight, yeah. and then just push pull it through. It through. Yeah. You can do the same with a safety pin. Yeah, but if you want to do it with this cord, push it through with a safety pin. Yeah. Wrap some cellar tape round yeah. the end first. Wrap some. Uh, tape, I shouldn't say, so tape, that's a brand, other, <laughs> other, other tapes are available. <laughs> Wrap some tape around the end yeah. and then stick your safety pin through that and then just push it through. You just put one in going that way around yeah. and then the other one you put yeah. in going the other way around. So you start this yeah. side and then you start that side and go the other way. Yeah. Basically, yeah. to do that. Brilliant. It's that so is, that. I've got the original pattern from Drawstring, uh, draw, drawstring Bag by Erica Arndt on youtube mm -hmm. erica aunt a r d n t is yeah. her last name yeah. and hers is patchwork and everything yeah um and it might be a little bit bigger than this right but i quite like this size yeah, i like that it's and cute. this is just your, your your piping you could use that for anything like your wash bag or yeah. i don't know anything yeah i don't worry about the ends fraying i just tie a knot in it and yeah yeah i think it gives that yeah. stick look yeah. yeah so it's fine so there you go and well, the full flat lovely so that's that's my my things done. I've not made anything in poly yet. I was meant to do some bunting, but I've just not got round to it. With all these projects I've got on the go. I know she's uh, <laughs> she's got quite a lot going on at the moment, haven't we? Now we showed this we showed this on bag week. Yeah. This was made by Olivia. Yeah. Yep. So it's bee bag made using the DIY tote bag beginner sewing tutorial, um, by Whitney Saws. Uh, the fabric is the bumblebee white slash blue poly cotton, which is two pound thirty five for half a meter, and she's also used a plain poly inside, which yeah, is just two pounds. Just a plain blue. If you live in Manchester, this is great. Yeah. Because it's the their logo, isn't it? Is the bee the Manchester bee? Oh, so, uh, Arlene says, "What interface did you use?" In which? I presume is it in the the bag? The, in in the in this one. I actually used it was a medium weight interfacing. During lockdown, I couldn't get any good interfacing, yeah. and yeah. I bought some really cheap stuff, which has made it really quite yeah. stiff. Um, but if you can, I could maybe put a bit of a just put a bit of wadding in. Yeah. Put a piece of interfacing and a piece of wadding. Yeah. And it gives you a nice feel. This for me is a bit too crisp. It is quite crisp. It is quite crisp. Yeah, it it is. feels quite crisp. If I wait, if I could make it and again, it, it I mean, it stands. Sturdy. It stands up. So if you've yeah. got any of that. Um, really cheap interfacing yeah. some of it has like the ones i had that I, that I wasn't so thrilled with they had like a rain it was like in a rainbow effect the blue dots on the back yeah. in the little arc and it felt really crisp yeah um which and sometimes it didn't matter how much i heated it yeah. it'd peel off yeah uh, but uh it's, it's made it quite sturdy but i would recommend a, a, a better yeah. interfacing like the visoline interfacing and maybe a little bit just a bit of thin wadding. Right. Or if you don't have any wadding, you could put a bit of fleece yeah. or something like that yeah. just to give it a little bit of padding. Padding, yeah. Mm. Which, when you if you get the little wrinkles in from the cheap yeah. interfacing yeah. as well, it, it's better than that because yeah. it'll smooth that out a bit. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so back to the bag. The tote bag is so cute. That bag. It's lovely, that, isn't it? She does such a good job on that. Um, but yeah, that's the DIY tote bag beginner, and it's very easy. I think we've just had a comment on that. Was, um, oh, Suzanne, that talk looks like an easy project for a like me. Love the fabric too. Is there yeah. a tutorial for it? Yes, that one. DIY tote bag. Uh, Whitney sews again. We're at the same place as the school, oh. the school blouse. Yes, does well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It is a good, very good project to start with for bags. It teaches you how to do the little box corner. Yeah. 
and how to do your, your straps, which yes. is um, nice quite straightforward. Yeah. And once you can do that, that leads you to do do a basic bag like yeah. that. Leads you on to do if you want to do a, a better, you know, yeah. well, not better, a more involved. Yeah. You think yeah. it's more the word, it, handbags or, yeah. or any other Anything kind of bag, how to put them on. together. Yeah, so that's a nice, good beginner one. What have we got next as well? We've got... Uh, right, shall we do bunting? Yeah. Right, I'll go on, I'll bunting, read you, yeah. show. Right, here we go. So Olivia made this. This is fa the fabrics, the Jessica Small Florals. It's probably one of her best selling, isn't it? Polycotton fabrics. It is. They're so popular. It's 235 for half a metre and it comes in all sorts of colours. That's yeah. duck egg and meadow on the other side, I think. Yeah. That way. Or are they alternate? I think they're alternate. They're alternate. Duck egg and meadow. So that's what it looks like. It's really nice bunting that, it is, isn't it's it? Mm. What I think what um bias does she use? Does she put on what bias does she use? No. No, I think it's the six I think it's the is it sixteen mil they do? I think so, yeah. So that's sixteen mil um poly. Amanda's put his nice skirt hung up on the wall. On no, the no, wall. your skirt's not oh, on. Oh we've yet. got your skirt, don't no, we? No, we haven't Amanda. forgotten. We will show that. The tutorial for the bunting is how to sew simple bunting by Debbie Shaw on YouTube. Yeah. That was one of the other colours of the uh, Jessica florals. Yeah, that's the, the beige. That, that's the beige, and then there's a, that's the beige, and then inside this one, I did a yellow. Just yeah. going back to that, I did that. I did one with padding and one without. It was better yeah. without padding. If you're going to go on and have a go, yeah, she doesn't use padding, and it's right. definitely better without yeah, padding. Yeah, I'd say it's better without padding. Yeah, it makes it a bit thicker, doesn't it, yeah. with the padding? Yeah, Bjorn's put. Do not use a hot iron on Polly. No, I've said no. that before. Yeah, yeah. don't. Make sure your uh, iron is not too hot. Test a small bit yeah, first. Definitely. Some Polly's are better than others. Yeah. Um, but if it's too hot, it can just suddenly shrivel, shrink slightly. It can shrink slightly. Yeah. Uh, or when you're ironing, you're interfacing on, and then you go back. It doesn't seem to shrink, but no. then when you go, you, you cut your pieces out. You iron if you do it, you iron, and then put your interfacing on afterwards. Yeah. Iron it on, and then you go back and put it against the next piece <laughs> to sew it together, and the and the different sizes. Yeah. Because they've shrunk a little bit, so <gasps> oh. iron it first. Yeah, definitely. But not too hot. Right. Should we go on to? Amanda's skirt since she requested it. Yes, before she has her uh, palpitations. Yes. So this is the easy two tiered skirt by Whitney Saws. Lucky girl skirt. Look, Look at that, that with it? the unicorns. And just a plain, plain, plain one, plain one at the top. A little bit of elastic through. It's what little girl wouldn't love that? I know. Unicorns. Eh? And we've got another colourway in that unicorn. Where's my That's details? Where's my that? details for oh, that? Did I give you that? Oh, I think it's there. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's a purple no. north. Pink. It's on the big A4. It it's on the big A4 piece of paper there. It's under and under stuff there. Oh. So this is a candy pink unicorn and lightning bolt. Candy pink unicorn and lightning bolt. I think it's upside down. It's called. There you are. That's lilac and that's put yours next to it. Oh, that's lilac and that's pink. Yeah, they're lovely then, aren't they? And then the mustard, the plain mustard. The planes are two pound ten, are they? Yeah, um, planes. Yeah, two pound yeah. ten. Two pound ten. Vanessa, know how pretty the skirt is. So pleased. It is. It's so cute. Today. Think of all the different combinations you I could know, do that. I never thought doing it. You could skirt. do that. Some of the new ones that have come. <gasps> yeah. Would be nice. Whether they be in poly cotton or cotton. Yeah. That daisies. Them daisies. Them ones. Yeah. I this would be nice for my little niece who's called Daisy. These ones. I can imagine, so I can imagine that popular. in that. We've got all the different colours in them, haven't we? Yeah. They They're make so pretty. Popular. Little girls things. The lilac things. one would be well sweet, wouldn't it? That's the lilac. It's fastened on. Mm. Um, they'd be so cute in that. Really cute. Right, so we do her pyjamas. Yeah, pyjamas. She's made a lot, hasn't she? Amanda? She does. She's been busy. So this is uh, Amanda's pyjamas. A shorty pyjamas. She loves, you know, three quarters. No, she said three quarter pyjamas. Three quarters pyjamas. Shorts on us. Three quarters yeah, on shorts Amanda. Yeah, shorts on us. Uh, it's a uh, Nicole's pattern. Uh, M5248 and that's the pattern. I think we've shown this before. There we go. That's a good pattern now. There's plenty on it. There is loads on yeah. that, isn't there? I quite like the little cami top that goes yeah, with I it. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. Mm, I wonder if it was easy to follow. So what was this fabric called? This was Baby so, Zebra. Baby Zebra. In, in the, the pink. pink. It's 112 centimetres wide. We've also got a blue. A blue version of that one. Fancied it. Um, they feel really nice though. So nice. once it's washed yeah. and the uh, starch or yeah. whatever it is that they put in it, they feel so much nicer once yes. they're washed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And yeah. I've just chucked some polycotton. I don't normally do poly, but, uh, but I'll just give it a go. 
yeah. make something with it, you know. Um, so, so I think that's Amanda done. Yeah. That's Amanda's makes. So where are we at? So now we're going to show, we haven't got any more makes, have we? I don't think we've got any. Gone no, so that's quite, few, yeah. that's quite a few makes. So now we're going to show you a, a few of the more fabrics that are, we've shown you the ones to match yeah. what we've done. And we've got a couple of bundles and we'll show you a few of the uh, the fabrics that have come back in stock. Yeah. And with so, a few cottons to show you as well. Yes, we've got lots of new cottons, but that's... We've got, yeah. brought a few up. Yeah, because we're upstairs and yeah. all ours is downstairs, yeah. so it's a lot to ship up here. Yeah. So, so we're going to start with right, the bundles. You start with that yeah, one and so then you show the next one. The Mustard and Great Bee Bundle, five piece, Polly Cotton. This has, been so, this has been so popular, this one. Yeah, they are. It's now back in stock. How much? Um, £7.50. £7.50. For a uh, half piece bundle, that's a bargain. Dorothy just uh, said, um, Can so, I repeat the pattern? Uh, yeah, please mention what the material you use. Like, for example, the mustard on the skirts is what material. Right, that's it. It's, can you repeat the pattern as well? Yeah. There is it repeat the McCall's pattern? That's that's uh, the pyjamas one. one. Right, the McCall's pattern. M5248. M5, M5, I know that's in reverse. Yeah. By the time I put this on my YouTube channel, I'll reverse, I'll flip it. Flip it. Back, so it'll be yeah. the right way around. Uh, M5248. Yeah. That so one? That's the pattern, that's for your pyjamas. And then this is all polycotton, so this is the plain, I think she said plain it was mustard. mustard. Plain polycotton in the mustard colourway. Yeah. On that one? And that's the unicorns. Yeah. As well. Um, right. So we've done the B bundle. So the B bundle we've done. Right. Next one. So this one is, this is brand new and it's a six piece black and white skulls poly bundle, eight ninety nine. Skulls are a theme nice at the moment. Bats as Good well. Good for Halloween. Yeah. And a white in there. Got your chevron. That would be a good buy for when you're doing little boys dress up outfits. Yeah, that would be a girl, really little boy dress up outfits for school for Halloween. Yeah, that would be so cool. It's a nice bundle, that's mm. cool, that. Yes, or for making the trick or treat bags and things yes. like that. I'm not even thinking about it. Really if that. you work ahead, if you think ahead, yeah. if you make for craft shows yeah. and, and for charity and things like that, yeah. the poly cotton is probably the way to go if you're doing for, a lot for charity. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can make lots of little, little, little small versions of that tote bag and things yeah, for little bits and pieces. Little ones to take out for treat bags. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you want to read this one? Right, this is a 50 gram poly cotton remnant bundle it's 14.99 the bundle includes end of roll pieces and faulty fabrics when we say faulty they might have just a little slight flaw in them yeah pieces vary from small to large and the bundle includes a mixture of different prints plain spots stripes children's florals etc yes you get all sorts in there. So that's really good. So that's, it's a nice bundle. So right? That's a nice one, that. Yeah. yeah, you get all different fabrics. So, what so it's we're different showing every now, time. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody will get that one. Yes, some but will. It, but it will be different every time. Yes, it will be. Right. If you want the one we've showed in the show, be quick. Yeah. And ask. Because uh, you might not get it. No. Depending on how many people order. They sell really well. The yeah. The Holly Remnant bundles. Definitely. Yeah, to my mum. <laughs> They're all okay. at my mum's house, I think. Oh, look, he's put great new bundles made by our lovely Deb. Oh, yeah. same Deb's not here. I know, she's in tomorrow. Right, so. So, let's show, let's show us. So, new. these these are the new, right. So, these are giraffes. We did have to have a, an animal lesson before. Heather thought there was a bird. <laughs> because it was black and white, <laughs> the other one. And uh, Amanda was saying earlier she was looking for the fabric for her zebra pyjamas and she yeah. was looking for. Do, and she should have been looking for giraffes. So that's stuck in my head. So this is the navy. Uh, let me just find it on my list. Navy giraffe polycotton. Um, two thirty-five. We've got navy, orange, and pink, that's and white and black. Black and white. This is upside down. Sorry about that. Uh, so that's the black and white. We've got the orange. Very bold that one, isn't it's it? Lovely, yeah, I like, orange, I like yeah. that one. That is lovely. And then we've also got the pink and yellow. That one as well. They're all lovely. So if you want a bit of a safari theme, you want your giraffes or your zebras. Your zebras, yeah. <laughs> Whichever one you want. So these are the camouflage uh polys. This is pink, and these are 235 for half a metre. Nice then, camo. The pink's very good. Do you know? I think it's great. You could buy 
a meter of this probably do do a skirt or yeah. do a little dress for a little yeah. girl and it's cost you less than a fiver yeah it's yeah, true so a pink camouflage i've also got the blue camouflage as well they're both nice very popular uh just quickly show the other colors of them i love this this is very zingy they're so so popular dotty daisy these are called are, are they sure? Dotty Daisy? No, it's not. Daisy. Looking at the wrong sunny one. Days, sunny Days flowers, poly cotton, two thirty-five, and it comes in red, blue, lilac, and lime. And this is the lovely lime. Getting a lot of love for the giraffes. Yeah. Everyone loves the giraffes. They are nice. This is the red Sunny Days. That's lovely. The so I can cool. imagine this little girl's skirt and dresses yeah. in this. Little yeah. girls' dresses in these would be gorgeous. They are lovely. Uh, I did show. Shall I show the other two? Yeah, might, might as well. I know we've shown them once, but as we're going through them all to remind yeah. you. These have been these have been so popular they've these literally, days. Literally the first time yeah. they came in they sold out so in a day. Away. I think a day or two and days. We just got them back in stock. Was it yesterday? Or I think so. Yesterday? That's the lilac. The lilac's so popular. That's What's there. your favourite? I like the lime, I think. I like the blue. Mm. I'm more of a blue girl me. And then believe it or not. One is black and one is navy. Oh, right. This is Dotty Day. Oh, flat blimey, that's an accurate way to <laughs> You hold that one. I think I've got the black one. This is Dotty Daisy. This You've is really popular. Navy. Yeah. So that is navy. Navy. Put that one underneath it. And that's the black. They're very, very similar. Very similar. There we go. They are, yeah. But they are de definitely, definitely different. Definitely different. They are yeah. definitely. When you put them together, that's you can just tell that's a little bit. Yeah. You have to hold it in the window. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the Dotty Daisy. And then we have shown, shall these are 230, they're a 235 for half a metre. We've got the bees out of the bun, uh, the tote bag. The tote bag. The tote bag. And that comes in a couple of colours. That's the blue. And then we've also got the lilac, which this should do. No, she did it in the pink version, didn't she? The blue. Yeah, she's done it in the blue. That's got lilac flowers on it. And the, the tote bag had the blue. Yeah, them two are very similar again. I don't know if she's got the blue just, one. Yeah. She might have the blue one, but um yeah. So if not, there's the one. there's the two others in stock. And I've shown them. Do you want to show them again? We'll show them again. again. And then we'll show you the cotton. So these were the ones that we were showing you before. That was the pink unicorn and lightning bolt. That was the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs for the shirt at the back. Not sure if she's got the blue left in stock, but she's got no. the white. And then we've finally got the zebras in the blue. And the pink. And the pink. So, just quickly, I have to just get them in there because I so love my new fabrics. <laughs> just a few, just a couple of the cotton ones, the new cottons. I'm it's worth sure. checking out the website. We're yeah. not 100% sure if, back, if they're online yet. Yeah. But if they're not... Janet says I'll be doing an order this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're not, they will be imminently. Yes. So we've got, I presume this is going to be ducks because it's stuck, ducks. Huh? Open it's it got, out. yeah. Is it, is it stuck it's down? It's stuck down. I've not, not yet opened up the that. Name. They've only just come yesterday afternoon, and there's a navy in this as well. So that's the duck. How Everybody loves that. That is so cute. They're so cute, aren't they? We have to get some of the ducks. Yeah. You need a picture of a little girl wearing a dress in yes. that with some wellies on. Oh yeah. That would be so cute. That'd be well cute. Just splashing with the ducks. Then we've got pink cats. We've also got this in. I think it's this is down. on. Turn it oh, over. Is it? Oh. We've also got this in blue and grey. They're on the website, I think. They're on, yeah, yeah, then. Yeah, mm. so we've got your cats. I'm not quite sure what they're called. No. But if you type in cats, I'm sure they'll come up. And then we've also got... Hang on, let's just break the seal. So I've just brought on. one colour of the toucans up. We've got loads of colours of toucans. Two cans. Two cans a pop. Two cans. Two cans. Two cans. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, well, I say two cans. Two that. cans. Well, two cans. We've got two cans. I'll tell you, we've got two cans. And I'll say two cans. Is that so, the right way or probably upside down? No, it's upside, upside down. down. Turn it over. So this is. Oh, this is the two cans. I love this colour. Two cans. This is very similar to the uh, tropical blouse yes, we is. showed, but you've got the uh, a smaller print and then with the two cans in. I as think well. we've got it in yellow. And navy. And black. I think and there's a black, black background as well. Yeah, I really like this colour. Yeah, that colours are nice. And that'll go with the one of the palm ones. Yes, in it will definitely. The green and navy. Oh, we've uh, got fern. Fern leaves, I think it's called. Green and navy fern. Yeah. would go well with that. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely would. Same with ducks are listed as well, they're listed. Oh, that's good. Well, your mum said she was going to do them last night. And finally... Upside down again. Upside down. Oh, they're all on the wrong way for showing. Um, we have this in yellow as well. I love the yellow one. I quite like this navy one, actually. I do like the Actually, navy. we've turned it upside down. Yeah. Can't see it on here. I mean, when else would you put flamingos and cactus together? <sighs> they're so cool. So, the yellow one as well is really bright and funky. Yeah. You've took yeah. some of that, haven't you, to make I have something? to make some, a bin for my sewing room. So, I think that's So there are floor, there's new florals as well, and yeah. uh, you've got a few... We've got a lot more. Uh, a few more ones. other new ones, and we've got quite a lot. There's a lot back in stock. Stock, yeah. So if there's been something you want, yeah. and it's been out of stock for a bit, it might be worth going yeah, back on and having a, like having a quick hearts. look. We've got all hearts back in stock. Is yeah. there any, all, all the heart ones, yeah. yeah. There was a lady yeah. that came last week and wanted and we hadn't got. But, but they're all come. back they're all back yeah. in so is there any more comments before we so go jean loves that one I think, brilliant I think the last one eileen loves the toucans uh liz says aren't the toucans gorgeous they are it's lovely isabel says multi-directional yeah yes yeah, absolutely right right i think that's everything so we're thinking next week we've had a lot of new timeless treasures yes so if you're a timeless treasures fan get on the website and have a look because there's uh, new ones. Oh, if they're not in yet, they'll be on. We've yeah. had a, a lot of new ones in and done we can't so many fit orders. In the room, there's that no, many. we've done so many orders, but we're going to focus on the timeless treasures yeah. next week. So yeah. we'll, have, we'll have a couple of makes, plus we'll just show you through all the fabrics. Yeah. So, so hope um, you've enjoyed it. So until then, goodbye. Bye.